An airplane pilot needs judgment, training, and experience to fly. But he also depends on tools that let him see what's going on and what's coming up. Like that airplane pilot, physicians treating rheumatoid arthritis have important decisions to make. They have to choose from among many treatment options available and many different mechanisms of action. Early and aggressive treatment can prevent costly joint damage and long-term disability. Vectra DA measures 12 biomarkers to establish a 1 to 100 score that reflects RA disease activity. It has been shown to predict radiographic progression of RA better than single biomarker tests, such as CRP and ESR, as well as traditional clinical assessments, such as DAS-28. With a baseline score and follow-up test after a change in treatment, Vectra DA can help physicians gauge the effectiveness of the treatments, allowing them to make adjustments along the way. It is also useful when a patient's self-reported pain, stiffness, and fatigue conflict with a physician's clinical examination. This could be because the patient is stoic and has accepted pain and fatigue as their new normal. Or conversely, they could have pain due to non-inflammatory conditions, such as fibromyalgia or prior joint damage. At times like this, an objective blood test, like Vectra DA, can help clinicians sort out the confounding evidence. Finally, since the Vectra DA score has been shown to predict sustained remission, it can help physicians and patients decide whether to taper treatment. Vectra DA should be used as part of a comprehensive clinical assessment. Vectra DA can help physicians personalize patient treatment plans based on their Vectra DA score. By adding an objective RA test to your disease assessment toolbox, you can let your patients track their journey and you can better inform your treatment decisions. Visit VectraDA.com to learn more.